Well, welcome back. Tonight is our second night. And just to review, last night we were talking about Jesus turning water into wine. Do you remember what our lesson was from that? Jesus can take what's plain and make it perfect. And I hope that that was the lesson that you and your mom and dad worked on last night. Tonight, we're going to have another story about Jesus and dealing with some water. Uh, it's going to be by the Sea of Galilee. If you've got a map in the back of your Bible, you might look that up. It's a big lake. It really is a really big lake. It's about 12 miles across. And it's about 15 miles long. And it's right up there in the middle of Israel, close to where Jesus lived. He lived in Nazareth in the Lake of Galilee. The Sea of Galilee is not too far from there. So Jesus does a lot of teaching around there. And that's where we find him on this day. He's been teaching all day long. He's been teaching his disciples, but he spends a lot of time this day talking to all of the people that have gathered around him to hear him teach. He's teaching them in parables. He talks to them in all sorts of parables, a parable about the mustard seed. He even talks to them about hiding your light under a bushel. We sing a song about that, and that's one of the things he talked to them about that day. And he talked to them all day long all day until the evening and he was getting tired jesus was a man just like you and i are human he got tired and he told his disciples let's get in the boat it's late in the evening let's go back to the other side of of the sea of galilee and we're going to leave and get in the boat so his disciples do and jesus does and jesus immediately goes to sleep he just lays down in the back of the boat and he takes a nap. He's been working hard all day and now he's tired. And so his disciples are going to row or sail across the lake. But a big storm comes up. A big windstorm comes. And the way that a windstorm in the Sea of Galilee happens, it goes really fast and it comes out of nowhere and the waves get really high and the rain is really hard and it's hard to row and they are beginning to sink. The waves are so big that they're crashing into the boat and filling up the boat. They're rowing hard and trying to, to get across the lake, but they're just about to sink. And Jesus is still asleep so they wake him up and they say Jesus we're sinking we're going to die don't you care well of course Jesus cares but Jesus is not worried about nature and he looks around and he sees the storm and he hears the wind and he sees the waves and he looks at his disciples. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been sitting in church? You're sitting with your family. You're really close to mom and dad. And you've made too much noise. I know that happens. It happens to all of us. And somebody, mom or dad, leans over and says, Hush, be quiet. And you do, because you don't want to get in trouble. Jesus looks out at this big storm, the clouds, the rain, probably lightning and wind. And Jesus says, peace, be still. And everything stops. The wind is gone. The waves are gone. There's no more storm. Everything is perfect. And his disciples saw that. And they said to themselves, Who is this that even the wind and the waves obey him. When your mom and dad say to you, hush, be quiet, you obey him or you obey her because they are your parents. 
Jesus says that to the storm as if he is its parent. And just like a kid, the storm obeys him and stops doing what it was doing. And it obeys him and gets quiet. Jesus has the power over nature because Jesus created nature. He made it in the beginning. He was the one that said, let there be light. And everything was created. Jesus is the one that created it. And so when Jesus says to it to do something, it obeys him. It obeys him even if it's a raging storm. His disciples believed even more. You remember when that we were at the wedding at Cana, they saw him turn water into wine and they believed. Now even nature obeys him and they believe even more. So even if we've got storms and all sorts of uncertainty and things that are happening in our life, if we trust in God, if we believe in Jesus, if we pray to him, he can control everything. He can, con he can make even the biggest storms in our life be calm, never to worry. Jesus is always there for us. So as you do this project and you learn about Jesus calming the winds and the waves and they obey him, I hope that you think about the fact that Jesus can always provide for you. Jesus can always protect you. Jesus is the answer for everything. Tomorrow night, we're going to talk about some more things on the Sea of Galilee. This is a place where Jesus spent a lot of time. So I hope that you enjoy that tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, everybody. I'm so glad you're back for VBS. Are you ready to make our next craft? Tonight, we are going to be making um, a craft of Jesus calming the storm. Okay? Here's a picture of Jesus calming the storm. And you'll have this in your packet. You can go back and color it later on your time, but you can see him in the boat. And the storm is brewing, and he's telling it to be calm. It's really a neat story. All right, so what you need tonight is that you need uh, some water. You need a container, a water bottle. Uh, some of you will have these. Uh, it needs to have oil in it. You need a little Lego. This one is mm, about three things, three pieces. One, two, three. And you can have one that's already made like this. That's fine. You need a pipe cleaner. Any color will do. And this is optional, Mom and Dad. You can uh, put food coloring in it to make it blue like water. Or you don't even have to use this part. Okay. So what we're going to do is we already have some oil, I already have oil in my bottle. If you need to pour it in, be very careful. Have mom and dad help you pour in some oil. And then you're gonna take your little Lego, turn it over. Mine has six little holes. I only need to use the single pipe cleaner. But if your holes are bigger, then you can take your pipe cleaner and bend it to make it thicker. So take your little pipe cleaner and you're going to stick it down inside one of the little holes. That's where you can get it in there. There we go. Push it down in there so it'll really stay in there good. As I pulled it back out. All right, so push it all the way down. Good grief. All the way down inside the hole. <laughs> Mine doesn't want to go in, but I had it in earlier. Okay. All right, so you're going to push it down inside your hole. Let me sing a song on this floor. He's trying to get this in there. Let's do Saw, Saw, Saw. That's a song I know a lot of you don't know. Here it goes. Saw, Saw, Saw. Pound, pound, pound. Build a house for Jesus and spread joy all around. Oh, see? All right, now I've got it in there. Now, the top pipe cleaner, you're going to bend it into a triangle shape. This will give you a sail. So just make a little triangle. And it'll hold it on there. You can bend the pipe cleaner around if you like. That'll hold your sail in better. My sail, for some reason, just keeps popping out. There we go. Okay. 
Now you might have to bend it a little bit to get it in there. Okay? All right, so now you're gonna take your water and very carefully, you're gonna pour it in. Now your little boat should float on the water once it all settles. Isn't it neat? Now your blue food coloring, be very careful. And you're gonna add in four drops. One, two, three, four. And this will turn your water, or your water, yeah, blue. Make sure you put the cap back on, tight. And then you can turn it like this and start making it all squish together. <laughs> My water has got, there it is, you see? Starting to turn blue. This is where Jesus and his disciples were in the boat and then the storm came and it started rocking the boat. Can you imagine being inside of a boat and a storm comes and it's tearing your boat crazy? That would be scary for me. And then Jesus got up and said, be still, and it stopped. So there you have it. There's your storm and your boat. Hope you had a good time making our craft tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye.